<laughs> hey, Internet friend, how are you? This is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe, the Synergy Collaborative. I'm here at the Magic Lounge <laughs> in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And I've been thinking a lot about uh, Robert Kiyosaki's cash flow quadrant. And if you're not familiar with it, Google it, learn a little bit about it. But it's essentially four different phases that a person goes through in their occupation or their job or whatever, their lifestyle. So I'm going to uh, lay it out a little bit for us here. The first quadrant is the employee, the person that has a job. And so E, 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 employee. That's the first quadrant is the employee. The next level down is a person who becomes self-employed. So that's going to be a big old S, S, S right there. Self-employed. The next area as they move along, uh, they end up being a business owner, a BBB, business owner. And the last one is an investor. Some of you have probably heard this thing before, but I'm going to give you my interpretation of it and then how it applies to moi. <laughs> so early on, um, if you don't know the Magic Lounge, that happened because I started doing magic as a kid. So I was actually in the... Uh, self-employed quadrant early on. I was the kind of kid that uh, went and bought candy in bulk and resold it to the kids at a profit. So I was kind of like uh, self-employed, almost a business owner, but not quite. <laughs> that was my little business. So I started doing magic as a kid and I used to uh, turn the garage into a little theater and I do magic shows and charge the neighborhood kids a quarter to come and watch me do shows. So I'm in the events industry also. <laughs> but so the first one is the employee one. And what happened with, with myself when I graduated Fridley High School in 1975, people said, Brad, you should go get a job. So I did. I worked for the Anoka County Parks and Recreation Department. And I worked for about three, four years. And then I got laid off. And I thought, where's my gold watch? <laughs> well, they can just pull the plug on you at any time. So I learned early on I wanted to be in control of my own life. So I went in to be a full-time magician. And uh, I knew I wanted to work corporate events and association conventions. So what I do is I created my own trade show. And that was my lead generation for finding event planners. So I was, went from the employee quadrant and I jumped down here into the self-employed quadrant. And then when I was doing this event, you know, being self-employed as a performing magician, you got to you know, send out contracts and develop a database and all that kind of stuff. But I started doing a little bit bigger and I started to create a little business kind of thing. And I was uh, doing this trade show kind of deal. So I had to subcontract people and all that kind of stuff, a little bit bigger. And then as time went on, actually things kind of collapsed for me back when the internet came into play and the events weren't so popular anymore and everybody's trying to make money online. And everything kind of fell apart, so I ran away to California. Then I came back to Minneapolis, and a friend of mine connected. He used to do these singles dances, and he wanted to do trade shows. And he knew that I had experience doing trade shows, so him and I connected, and we created a company, and we were doing health and wellness shows and home improvement and design expos. He's still doing it. I resigned. But that's in more of this business uh, owner quadrant, where him and I were business owners, and we're basically employees of our own business. So it kind of pops you back here. This can get kind of intense because you end up working your own business and quite honestly, your business is running you. And he was good with being in this quadrant because he was more, wanted to be more structured. You know, you get there at the, in the morning and you work all day. And I needed the more freedom lifestyle. So it didn't work good for me and I got a little stressed out and I had a mild stroke just a small little three minute episode of talking funny. And I said, I don't want to do this anymore. So I resigned and I got out of the business element of things. And I started learning about internet marketing. I wanted to leverage my time where I could use the internet to promote products and services. And then I do all my work in the morning and then let the internet do the work. And then I could go out and play. So it's more of an investor mentality, not your typical stock market investor mentality, but more I'm investing my time and my energy and my money into putting information on the internet, creating content, and then that, that energy eventually comes back because people 
click on links, buy products and services, and you get uh, a return on your investment. So that's the other investor quality. It's the idea of the, the time and energy you put forth will eventually manifest and, and grow into something. So that's kind of where I am now, but still I do go into all these other areas. I don't do the employee mindset so much in that I don't like the idea of not being in control of my own time. Um, I did take a job with Amazon <laughs> doing a scanning over the holidays to make some extra money and, and get some exercise. But the idea of being there during their hours, punching a clock, I don't like so much because time is the one commodity that we all got that's exactly the same. And I value my time and I don't like the idea of being stuck in that, that place. So I needed that time freedom to be able to break loose. So the self-employment area and business owner, I'm not so crazy about the business owner element of it because you need to start managing employees and and inventory and, and uh, you know maintenance and all that kind of thing. So I'm more in the, this area, which is more mindset of, of investing your time, money, and energy to compound and scale. So I've got some of these things that what I do is I sell other people's products and services where they need to do the fulfillment. All I need to do is drive people through the front door. It's kind of like, uh, you know, we've got the Mall of America here in Bloomington. Can you imagine if all you had to do is drive people through the front door and then you got a percentage commission on everything they purchased while they're in the mall? So that's the thing that I'm building up now. It's more of a business mindset and I'm doing it with live events and uh, digital products on uh, educating people on like tax strategies and investing in real estate and precious metals and more mindset kind of thing. So that's the essential uh, element of the cash flow quadrant. If you want to know more about what I'm what I do as far as the magical entertainment, I've got a development in Costa Rica that I'm working on and then the business education aspect. You can go to magicbradpresents.com and learn more about that. Other than that, it's Tuesday Good News Day. I'm going to head out. I've got a, a meeting I have to go to over at Brewworks in Edina or uh, Wyzetta. <laughs> so peace, love and happiness. This is Magic Brad signing off. Enjoy your day. Be well.